ਗੁੱਡ ਮਾਰਨਿੰਗ ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਆਪ ਸਭ ਸੁਣਨ ਵਾਲੇ ਸਰੋਤਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਰਮਾਕਾਂ ਡਾਵਰ ਦੇ ਟਾਕ ਸ਼ੋਅ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜੀ ਆਇਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਆਪ ਸਭ ਨੂੰ ਨਮਸਕਾਰ ਆਦਾਬ ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਜੀ ਆਇਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਪਰਮਾਤਮਾ ਗੋਡ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਅੱਲਾਹ ਤਾਲਾ ਜੀਸਸ ਲਾਰਡ ਬੁੱਧਾ ਜਿਹਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਮੰਨਦੇ ਹੋ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਕੀ ਬੇਨਤੀ ਹੈ ਪ੍ਰਾਰਥਨਾ ਕਿ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਦਿਨ ਬਹੁਤ ਹੀ ਚੰਗਾ ਹੋਏ ਖੁਸ਼ੀਆਂ ਖੇੜੇ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆਵੇ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਤੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਜੀ ਆਇਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਇਤਰਾਮ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਰਮਾਕਾਂ ਡਾਵਰ ਦੇ ਟਾਕ ਸ਼ੋਅ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜਾਣਦੇ ਹੋ ਕਿ ਹਰ ਹਫ਼ਤੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਨਾ ਕਿਸੇ ਗੈਸਟ ਨੂੰ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆਉਨੇ ਆ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਔਰ ਸਾਡਾ ਟਾਕ ਸ਼ੋਅ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਭਰਿਆ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਕੁਝ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਸਿੱਖਣ ਨੂੰ ਮਿਲਦਾ ਹੈ ਆਪਣੇ ਗੈਸਟਸ ਤੋਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਮਹਿਮਾਨਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਔਰ ਅੱਜ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਜੁੜ ਬੈਠੇ ਨੇ ਸਟੇਟ ਸੈਂਟਰ ਕਮਿਟੀ ਕਾਲਜ ਡਿਸਟ੍ਰਿਕਟ ਦੇ ਟਰਸਟੀ ਮਿਸ ਡੋਟੀ ਸਮਿਥ ਡੋਟੀ ਸਮਿਥ ਕਾਫੀ ਅਰਸੇ ਤੋਂ ਸਟੇਟ ਸੈਂਟਰ ਕਮਿਟੀ ਕਾਲਜ ਡਿਸਟ੍ਰਿਕਟ ਦੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕਿ ਫਰੈਜ਼ਨੋ ਸਿਟੀ ਕਾਲਜ ਰੀਡਲੀ ਕਾਲਜ ਮਡੇਰਾ ਕਾਲਜ ਨੂੰ ਰਨ ਕਰਦਾ ਉਹਦੇ ਟਰਸਟੀ ਹੈਗੇ ਨੇ ਉਹਦੇ ਬੋਰਡ ਆਫ ਡਾਇਰੈਕਟਰਸ ਦੇ ਮੈਂਬਰ ਹੈਗੇ ਨੇ ਔਰ ਮਿਸ ਡੋਟੀ ਸਮਿਥ ਇਸ ਖੇਤਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਕਾਫੀ ਅਰਸੇ ਤੋਂ ਸੇਵਾ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਔਰ ਹੁਣ ਉਹ ਚੁਣਾਵ ਦੇ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਦੁਬਾਰਾ ਇਸੇ ਖੇਤਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਚੁਣਾਵ ਲੜ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਔਰ ਅੱਜ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਜੁੜ ਬੈਠੇ ਨੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਜੀ ਆਇਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਇੱਕ ਦੇ ਸੈਕਿੰਡ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਡੋਟੀ ਸਮਿਥ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਜੁੜ ਬੈਠਣਗੇ ਗੁੱਡ ਮਾਰਨਿੰਗ ਮਿਸ ਸਮਿਥ ਹਾਊ ਆਰ ਯੂ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਟੁਡੇ ਓ ਆਮ ਜਸਟ ਫਾਈਨ ਇਨ ਯੂ ਗੁੱਡ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਫॉर ਜੁਆਇਨਿੰਗ ਅਸ ਐਂਡ ਟਾਕਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਅਸ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਲਿਸਨਰਸ ਟੁਡੇ ਫਰਮ ਬੇਕਰਸਫੀਲਡ ਟੂ ਮੋਡੈਸਟੋ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਔਨ ਦਾ 에ਅਰ ਨਾਓ ਵੀ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਯੂ ਐਂਡ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਆਸਕ ਯੂ ਫਿਊ ਕੁਐਸਚਨਸ ਥੈਟ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਐਡਰੈਸ first question since how long you have been trustee of state center community college district and when you were elected first i was first elected in 1981 so since 1981 you are on board of trustee yes so it is almost uh, uh, 33 years 33 years wow so in these last 33 years we will talk your accomplishments we will talk about our education system we will talk about your own family we will talk about future plans and we will see where we land asi dot smith nu puchhe vi kadon tusi pehli vari chunav jit ke state center community college district de vich ohna de board of trustees de board de vich shamil hoye si 1981 de vich 1981 de vich e pehli vari chunav jit ke state center community college district de board de utte ponche si ਔਰ 33 ਸਾਲ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਨੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਉਸ ਬੋਰਡ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਮੈਂਬਰ ਦੇ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਸਮਾਜ ਦੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੋ ਸਾਡੀ ਕਮਿਟੀ ਦੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੋਏ ਵਾਈ ਆਰ ਯੂ ਰਨਿੰਗ ਅਗੇਨ ਮਾਈ ਫਰਸਟ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਆਮ ਰਨਿੰਗ ਅਗੇਨ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਆਈ ਨੋ ਦੈਟ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਦ ਰਾਈਟ ਚੋਇਸ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਬੈਸਟ ਚੋਇਸ ਟੂ ਕੰਟੀਨਿਊ ਮਾਈ ਟੈਨਿਅਰ ਔਨ ਦ ਬੋਰਡ ਆਫ ਟਰਸਟੀਜ਼ ਐਂਡ ਵੈਨ ਯੂ ਟਾਕ ਇਨ ਟਰਮਸ ਆਫ ਮੀ ਹੈਵਿੰਗ ਬੀਨ ਅ ਲੌਂਗ ਟਾਈਮ ਐਜੂਕੇਟਰ I understand the mission of community colleges. I understand the importance of education and I know I have been a voice, a positive voice for community colleges. You may think why so long or why do you still want to be on there because I feel that education is an evolving uh institution and I do believe even after so many years I have I still have something to offer. Thank you so much, Dotty. And and the say hai ki ਇਹ ਇਹਨੇ ਅਰਸੇ ਤੋਂ ਸਮਾਜ ਦੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਮੈਂ ਕੁਝ ਟੈਕਨੀਕਲ ਮਸਲਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਲਝਿਆ ਹੋਇਆ ਸੀ ਪੂਰੀ ਗੱਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੁਣ ਸਕਿਆ ਪਰ ਜਿੰਨਾ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਸੁਣਿਆ ਉਹਦੇ ਮੁਤਾਬਕ ਕਿ ਕਾਫੀ ਅਰਸੇ ਤੋਂ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਹਾਲੇ ਵੀ ਇਹ ਸਮਝਦੇ ਨੇ ਕਿ ਬਹੁਤ ਕੁਝ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾਣ ਵਾਲਾ ਹੈ ਸਾਡੇ ਸਿੱਖਿਆ ਦੇ ਖੇਤਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਾਡੇ ਸਮਾਜ ਦ
but I have been an educator for over 37 years prior to retiring, having been a principal, teacher, counselor, program manager, state and federal program manager. So I do understand the dynamics of education. One of my concerns as a uh, community college trustee is to make sure that when students come to us that they are college ready. And 74% of students who graduate from our local high schools are not college ready. Many of them come in after they take the placement test, scoring at the third and fourth grade level. And some people um, as have said, well, what are community colleges going to do about that? I'm saying, what is the community going to be able to do about that? It's a travesty. I, uh, having been an educator, as I stated, I know that it defies the laws of it, the laws of averages that that many students come to us unprepared. So I do believe we all have a mission to make sure that those students are prepared when they come to college, so that they can get those degrees, transfer certificates when they come if they are college ready. ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਹੈਗਾ ਕਿ ਪਿਛਲੇ 37 ਸਾਲ ਤੋਂ ਇੱਕ ਟੀਚਰ ਹੈਗੇ ਨੇ ਇੱਕ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਪ੍ਰਿੰਸੀਪਲ ਰਹਿ ਚੁੱਕੇ ਨੇ ਐਡਮਿਨਿਸਟ੍ਰੇਟਰ ਰਹਿ ਚੁੱਕੇ ਨੇ ਸਕੂਲਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੇ ਕਾਫੀ ਖੇਤਰਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕਾਫੀ ਖੇਤਰਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਸਿੱਖਿਆ ਦੇ ਖੇਤਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵਿਸ਼ੇਸ਼ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਕੰਮ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਪ੍ਰਸ਼ਾਸਨਿਕ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਸਮਾਜਿਕ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਵੀ ਜੁੜੇ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਔਰ ਇਹ ਕਹਿ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਕਿ ਕਿ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਦੇਖਿਆ ਕਿ ਬੱਚੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਨੇ ਕਾਲਜ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿਸ ਟਾਈਮ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਕਾਲਜ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਉਣ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਤਿਆਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਐਂਟਰੀ ਟੈਸਟ ਵਗੈਰਾ ਤੇ ਕਈ ਹੋਰ ਟੈਸਟ ਵੀ ਉਹ ਪਾਸ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਇਹ ਸਾਰੀਆਂ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਾਫੀ ਪਾਰਟਨਰਸ਼ਿਪ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੋਈ ਹੈ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਲੁਕਿੰਗ ਐਟ ਯੂਅਰ ਅ ਕੈਂਪੇਨ ਲਿਟਰੇਚਰ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਕੁਆਇਟ ਵਿਲ quite a bit uh, accomplishments and uh, looking at these accomplishments Fresno City College has awesome programs but if a student gets into this college or state center community college it takes him to graduate 3 4 years some of the programs offered here some of the programs offered there some classes are offered here and there while in private sector the same students if they go they can finish their degrees in one year one and a half year max and classes are established in such a way that students can be out from school soon and can be a part of our workforce why city college doesn't have established that type of programs and classes that's a good question uh, but i like to say this from what i know having been an educator and also been on the board for so many years many of those students you're referring to after they have gone to those colleges and supposedly you have gotten what they're supposed to get they come back to us because they aren't able to get a job as promised and some of them have spent 20 30 40,000 dollars to do that they come back to the community colleges even after doing that and the college those colleges those for pay colleges have promised them jobs promised them this and that and they don't, that doesn't happen i see it happen time and time again students coming back to the community colleges after they have paid what we look at as a lifetime debt which that some of them will be paying for years and years and years and they come back to us and they get what they need then they move on and the question that you asked in terms of why does it take so long when they come to a community college because when they come to com- community college we're also about the business of educating because i think education is a lifelong thing that we all need to be about and when you're educated it doesn't matter what it's not about learning a, a particular subject degree whatever it's about lifelong learning because i've learned as an educator if you teach me how to learn teach me how to know what i know i can do anything so that is the essence of community college we want to educate the people not just to prepare you for a job because jobs change but if your minds and your heart and your soul is ready and you can move on you can learn other jobs too but when you go and pay 30 40,000 to learn a skill and you don't get that job what do you do you come back to community 
Keep Come going back on, to man. Colleges. <laughs> because as we touch this table, sound goes in the air. So when you are talking, keep your hands uh, uh, away from this uh, table stop. So listeners, in an the say hagaki ki just time to see private college. Mera swal sika ki jadi प्राइवेट कॉलेज जाते हैं बच्चे वो बहुत छेती डिग्री लैके बहर आ जाते हैं वर्कफोर्स का एक हिस्सा बन जाते हैं तो जबकि फ्रेजनो सिटी कॉलेज कम्यूनिटी कॉलेज डिस्ट्रिक्ट या रीडली कॉलेज या मडेरा कॉलेज के जिस टाइम स्टूडेंट्स जाते हैं उन्होंने बहुत समय लगता है दो साल की डिग्री लैन के क्या असी इदा प्रोग्राम क्यों नहीं एसटैबलिश करते फ स्टेट सेंटर कम्यूनिटी कॉलेज डिस्ट्रिक्ट के बच्चे जोड़े ने या स्टूडेंट्स ने या ईवन असी भी वापस सिक्ख्या होर लैन जाइए या कॉन्टीन्यू एजुकेशन वास्ते जाइए तो सू ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਆ ਛੇਤੀ ਡਿਗਰੀ ਮਿਲ ਜਾਏ ਬਜਾਏ ਅਸੀਂ 4 4 5 5 ਸਾਲ ਜੂਨੀਅਰ ਡਿਗਰੀ ਲੈਣ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਕੁਝ ਕਲਾਸਾਂ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਡਿਗਰੀ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਉਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੱਖਰੇ ਵੱਖਰੇ ਸੈਮੈਸਟਰ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਫਰ ਕੀਤੀਆਂ ਜਾਂਦੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਹੈਗਾ ਕਿ ਭਲੇ ਹੀ ਬਾਹਰ ਦੇ ਕਾਲਜਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ 30 40000 50000 50 ਡਾਲਰ ਖਰਚ ਕੇ ਡਿਗਰੀ ਲੈਂਦੇ ਹੋ ਬਹੁਤ ਅੱਛੀ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਹੈ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਦੇ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਸਰੋਤਿਓ ਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਉਮੀਦ ਕਰਦਾ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇਸ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਨੂੰ ਆਪਣੀ ਨਿੱਜੀ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਸਤੇਮਾਲ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਕਰੋਗੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਵੇਟ ਕਾਲਜ ਹੈਗੇ ਨੇ ਦੱਸ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਕਿ ਉੱਥੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ 30 40 50 ਹਜ਼ਾਰ ਰੁਪਇਆ ਖਰਚ ਕੇ ਸਿਰ ਤੇ ਕਰਜ਼ਾ ਲਾ ਕੇ ਡਿਗਰੀ ਤੇ ਲੈ ਲੈਂਦੇ ਹੋ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਵਿਸ਼ਵਾਸ ਦਿਵਾਉਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਵਾਅਦਾ ਕਰਦੇ ਨੇ ਕਿ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਜੌਬ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਦਿਵਾਵਾਂਗੇ ਪਰ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਪੈਸਾ ਖਰਚ ਕੇ ਵੀ ਜਿਸ ਟਾਈਮ ਉਹ ਜੌਬ ਨਹੀਂ ਦਿਵਾਉਂਦੇ ਉਹੀ ਸਟੂਡੈਂਟ ਵਾਪਸ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਕਾਲਜ ਚ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਇਸ ਕਾਲਜ ਚ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਦੁਬਾਰਾ ਫਿਰ ਨਵੇਂ ਸਿਰ ਤੋਂ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕਰਦੇ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਸਿੱਖਿਆ ਪ੍ਰਾਪਤ ਕਰਨਾ ਸਾਰੀ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਦਾ ਇੱਕ ਹਿੱਸਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਾਰੀ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਸਿੱਖਦੇ ਰਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਤਾਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਹੈਗਾ ਕਿ ਇਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਹੀ ਜਿਸ ਟਾਈਮ ਇਹ ਆਪਣੇ ਵਿਦਿਆਰਥੀਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਇਸ ਕਾਲਜ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਿੱਖਿਆ ਪ੍ਰਦਾਨ ਕਰਦੇ ਨੇ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਨਾ ਸਿਰਫ ਡਿਗਰੀ ਮਿਲਦੀ ਹੈ ਬਲਕਿ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਦਿਮਾਗੀ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਆਤਮਿਕ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਤੇ ਸਰੀਰਕ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਇਸ ਪਾਸੇ ਨੂੰ ਤਿਆਰ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਭਲੇ ਹੀ ਇਕਨੋਮੀ ਬਦਲ ਜਾਏ ਸਾਡੀ ਆਰਥਿਕ ਵਿਵਸਥਾ ਬਦਲ ਜਾਏ ਇੱਕ ਜੋਬ ਨਾ ਰਹੇ ਪਰ ਉਹੀ ਬੰਦਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਵੱਖਰੇ ਵੱਖਰੇ ਖੇਤਰਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਸਿੱਖਿਆ ਪ੍ਰਾਪਤ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਦੂਜੇ ਪਾਸੇ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਵੀ ਕੰਮ ਢੂੰਡ ਸਕਦਾ ਤੇ ਆਪਣੀ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਬਸਰ ਕਰ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਡੂ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਗੁੱਡ ਐਸਟੈਬਲਿਸ਼ਡ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮਸ ਐਟ ਸਟੇਟ ਸੈਂਟਰ ਕਮਿਟੀ ਕਾਲਜ ਡਿਸਟ੍ਰਿਕਟ ਵੇਅਰ ਸਟੂਡੈਂਟਸ ਕੈਨ ਲਰਨ ਟੈਕਨੀਕਲ ਐਜੂਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਐਂਡ ਕੈਨ ਮੇਕ देयर ਲਾਈਫ ਈਜ਼ੀ ਇਨਕਲੂਡਿੰਗ ਥਿਓਰੀਟੀਕਲ ਐਜੂਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਹੈਂਡਸ ਔਨ ਟੂਲਸ etc like one of the college in the united states just started a program and i was there it is a bishop college in alabama i visited that with the us department of education us department of aid and some other us departments they just started aeroplane technician program 2 years degree they have truck drivers 2 years degree lot of people who drive trucks they get their commercial license but they are not aware about rules and regulations our radio host right here on kbif 900 am they also educate truckers but uh, bishop college has started 2 years truck driving degree and those truckers they know when they get into an accident they need to have a drug test within 24 hours they know how to fix the oh, sorry how to prepare their log books correctly how to report an incident how to work with dot how to do the inspections looking at these things people and industry like big industries not individual small business owners they hire those people who have knowledge experience degrees in their industry what kind of programs technical programs fresno city college or state center community college district has and how you support those programs srotyo mein unhone puchha hai ki bishop college jade alabama de vich hai excuse me unna ne hun ek program shuru kita hai ga jide vich aeroplane technicians di unna ne 2 saal di degree shuru kiti hai ਇਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਹੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਕੋਲ ਟ
ਵੱਖਰੇ ਵੱਖਰੇ ਖੇਤਰਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਾਡੇ ਸਟੂਡੈਂਟਸ ਨੂੰ ਸਾਡੇ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਡਿਗਰੀਆਂ ਮਿਲਦੀਆਂ ਉਹ ਵਕ ਕਿਸੇ ਵੀ ਖੇਤਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੱਖਰੇ ਵੱਖਰੇ ਖੇਤਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਕਾਰੋਬਾਰ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਨੇ ਟਰੱਕ ਡਰਾਈਵਿੰਗ ਦਾ ਲਾਇਸੈਂਸ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੇ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਕੋਲ ਹੈ ਪਰ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਵੱਡੀਆਂ ਕੰਪਨੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਜਿਸ ਟਾਈਮ ਉਹ ਹਾਇਰ ਕਰਦੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਅਗਰ ਕਿਸੇ ਦੇ ਕੋਲ ਡਿਗਰੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਉਸ ਚੀਜ਼ ਦੀ ਵਿਸ਼ੇਸ਼ਤਾ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਪਹਿਲ ਮਿਲਦੀ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਪੁੱਛ ਰਿਹਾ ਵੀ ਇੱਥੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਿੱਦਾਂ ਦੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਟੈਕਨੀਕਲ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮਸ ਹੈਗੇ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਕਿੱਦਾਂ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੋ ਮਿਸ ਸਮਿਥ I just want to say in terms of what uh the program that you just described we do help technical uh programs through the first, through the state center community college district and one of the things I want to capitalize on what you just said when those people are in those uh programs such as in Bishop College they learn the skill and they become employable the thing that I've seen in the state center community college district through our t- technical vocational classes yes. where students learn a trade some of those students who come to us as i mentioned earlier uh not on grade level when they get into courses that they really want to be in they learn the math they learn the read and i've asked the question many many times why does community college and four year colleges for that matter take so long because most people want to get in learn a trade do what they need to do to provide for their families and what we've seen once they do get those jobs they do come back get those BAs get those uh masters but they are able to take care of their families so you're absolutely right in terms of providing more technical uh vocational programs and we that is one of our missions to do that and uh our our records will show and the minutes will show that I've asked that question why does it take so long but i still think when it's all said and done you learn those skills you still need to learn how to read and write and compute because when the computer breaks down or when your gps breaks down you still need to learn how to figure it out and if gps breaks down we need to know what road goes where <laughs> <laughs> okay and the say hai ki bahut changi gal hai technical program hona ਔਰ ਟੈਕਨੀਕਲ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੀ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਕਿ ਅਗਰ ਕੋਈ ਬੰਦਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਉਸ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਛੇਤੀ ਕੰਮ ਸਿੱਖ ਕੇ ਕਾਰੋਬਾਰ ਸਿੱਖ ਕੇ ਤੇ ਆਪਣੀ ਰੋਜ਼ੀ ਰੋਟੀ ਕਮਾਉਣ ਲੱਗ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਤੇ ਅੱਗੇ ਦੀ ਹੋਰ ਪੜ੍ਹਾਈ ਵਧਾਉਣ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਜਿਸ ਟਾਈਮ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਬੈਕਅਪ ਮਿਲ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਚੰਗੀ ਗੱਲ ਹੈ ਬਿਸ਼ਪ ਕਾਲਜ ਦਾ ਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਉਦਾਹਰਨ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਬਿਸ਼ਪ ਕਾਲਜ ਹੈਜ਼ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮਸ ਕੰਪਲੀਟਲੀ ਕਨਸੈਂਟਰੇਟਿਡ ਔਨ ਹੈਂਡਸ ਔਨ ਟੂਲਸ ਡੂ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਦੈਟ ਟਾਈਪ ਆਫ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਹੀਅਰ ਵੇਅਰ ਏ ਪਰਸ ਐਂਡ ਆਲਸੋ montana college i visited that college as well they have 2 years electrician degree they have 2 years construction management degree they have 2 years construction degree where they have the students need to come to the college once a week 8 hour class to go through the theory talk to the instructor what they have learned in the field and they work in the field montana college students they were first in the nation when there was a problem and electric poles were knocked down in arizona people from different states went to arizona to fix those poles montana college students they were first award winners in fixing those poles and those students spent most of the time hands on tools instead of sitting in the classrooms and they are good good employees good workers good money earners do we have that type of program here in fresno or do you support that type of program in fresno in I state center community college district i definitely support it not only in fresno but in the nation because as a nation we have always been number 1 and we want to continue to be number 1 and as i mentioned earlier once students learn a trade or something they're really interested in they will learn how to read write and compute and they're doing those things let's just say a student comes to us and he's on the second or third or she's on the second or third grade level in math but when you get into those t- kind of technical classes th- as you mentioned they will learn the math because they really want to be in those programs and i think that we need to uh revamp our education system I really do because the way it is now is not so much about the students it's about those folks who who teach the subjects 
and the calendar, the school calendars are made around the people who work there rather than the students. And in many instances, I see if we say a student is having algebra for one year, everybody can't learn algebra in one year. So we need to look at what we need to do for our students and not so much about the adult calendar. We need to make it work for students. And, that's, and I think when we start really looking into that, our students, I learned as a long-time educator, they want to please us. And if pleasing us mean I'm going to learn how to read, I'm going to learn how to write and compute, they will do that. But students know if you care. And when you care, students will do what you need to do, what they need to do to be successful. And you mentioned vocational education. Well, that's what our nursing program is, our two-year nursing program. And what we found out with our nursing program, students pass those the exact same state tests that the students in the four-year colleges pass. But some people have an elitist attitude about that. And when you talk about technical education, the way our, our colleges are set up in this nation, it's elitist to get those same uh, type of skills from the four-year institution that you can get in a two-year institution. An RN is an RN, especially if you take the same state test that you would have to take if you went to a four-year institution. But they kind of look down on that. We talk about technical skills and those types of things. Community college is one of our nation's most well-kept secret in terms of what we do to make this community a better place. Uh, the police academy, the fire academy, nursing, we do so many things that the public don't really look at but they take it for granted when you see these police out on the street protecting you, when you see the fireman who comes out to put a, a, a fire out, or when you see those nurses in the hospital. Well, think about community colleges, because many of them uh, have graduated from community colleges, and also auto mechanics. We do so much, but it seems to me, in too many instances, people look to the community college and ask, well, you're not doing this, or what are you doing? Oh, we're doing a lot. We're doing a lot in terms of educating people. And I'm saying the word community means these are your colleges. And you, uh, people ask the questions, come on to colleges. They're public institutions. You can tour. We've had some of our top administrators in education come and see some of the things that we're doing at State Center, and they're just amazed and say, oh, God, I didn't know you were doing this. I invite the community to come. These colleges belong to you, and you need to make sure that they're meeting the needs. And I, and I think you, you made a good point in terms of education. What we need to do is follow the cues of society in all facets of education, K through post-secondary, and see just what is needed and stop I think we need to change some of our dynamics. And when we start doing that, I think we can have a more educated society. And I hope I'm not uh, saying too much that you can translate. So you can stop me. Just <laughs> okay, because we are not doing verbatim interpretation. We are talking and it is a talk show. So whatever I get and absorb in my mind, I just uh, use that. And people, they are well educated, my listeners. They can understand English as well. So it is mixed in English and Punjabi. So thank you. And I'm going to say that it's a very good program, a vocational program, which is a registered nurse, the nursing program. It's a police academy, a fire academy, a very good program. The community college is a very good college. एक कम्यूनिटी का हिस्सा है इन को बहुत अच्छे टीचरस ने एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर्स ने तो जाके पता कर सकते हो अपने बच्चों के भविख वास्ते और जेकर तुम क्लासा होर लानिया ने कोई अपनी सिक्ख्या अगे वा तो वास्ते भी इन्हों को काफ़ी प्रोग्राम है डू यू हैव पार्टनरशिप विद बिजनेस हीयर इन फ्रैजनो एरिया फॉर स्टूडेंट्स दैट वेयर दे कैन गो एंड डू देयर इंटर्नशिप एंड can have hands-on tools? Yes, we do. As a matter of fact, for our auto mechanics program, uh, local dealerships donate the cars. We work with PG&E. We work with several of the, uh, the businesses. As a matter of fact, we do talk and we meet with them all the time in terms of what do you need, how should we be preparing these students to come out and be prepared for the world of work. Yes, we do that. I just gave two examples in terms of, uh, I'd say, PG&E, and, uh, of course, the hospitals, we had what we call a paradigm program where we made sure that we worked with the hospitals in our area 
to uh, prepare nurses so that they could be able to uh, fill those job slots. Not only nursing, we talk about uh, all the other fields in, in health, health in, in the health sciences. Uh, respiratory folks, people, dentists, uh, dentists, hygienists, so many things that I say when we go to these particular businesses, we just take take it for granted. Well, stop. I'd like to challenge people to ask them, where did you get your education from? Who trained you? So I think when we start doing that, we will start appreciating more the role of our community colleges and what we actually do, not what we're not doing, but what actually are we doing? We're doing quite a bit. Thank you, Dottie. ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਸਿਆ ਹੈਗਾ ਕਿ ਸਾਡੇ ਕੋਲ ਕਾਫੀ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਹੈਗੇ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਡੈਂਟਲ ਹਾਈਜੀਨ ਹੈ ਨਰਸਿੰਗ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਮੈਂ ਸਵਾਲ ਮੇਰਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਵੀ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸਟੂਡੈਂਟਸ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਕੋਲ ਕਾਲਜ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਕਿਆ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਤਜਰਬਾ ਲੈਣ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਜਾਂ ਇੰਟਰਨਸ਼ਿਪ ਪੂਰੀ ਕਰਨ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਜਾਂ ਆਪਣਾ ਤਜਰਬਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਰੀਅਲ ਵਰਲਡ ਦਾ ਅਸਲੀਅਤ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਦਾ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਉਹ ਕੰਮ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਨੇ ਇਦਾਂ ਦੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਹੈਗੇ ਪਾਰਟਨਰਸ਼ਿਪ ਹੈਗੀ ਲੋਕਲ ਬਿਜ਼ਨਸਿਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਸਾਡੇ ਕੋਲ ਪਾਰਟਨਰਸ਼ਿਪ ਹੈ ਕਮਿਟੀ ਹਸਪੀਟਲ ਦੀ ਤੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕਾਰ ਡੀਲਰਸ਼ਿਪ ਹੈਗੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਕਾਰਾਂ ਵੀ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਸਕੂਲ ਨੂੰ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਕਿ ਸਟੂਡੈਂਟਸ ਸਿੱਖ ਸਕਦੇ ਨੇ ਕਾਰਾਂ ਤੇ ਰੀਅਲ ਵਰਲਡ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਕੰਮ ਕਰਨਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਕਾਰਾਂ ਦੀ ਮੁਰੰਮਤ ਕਿੱਦਾਂ ਕਰਨੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਆ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਲੁਕਿੰਗ ਵਾਟ ਆਰ ਯੂਰ ਫਿਊਚਰ ਪਲਾਨਸ ਫੋਰ ਕਮਿਟੀ ਕਾਲਜ ਡਿਸਟ੍ਰਿਕਟ ਬਿਫੋਰ ਆਈ ਵਿਲ ਗੈਟ ਇਨਟੂ ਅਨਦਰ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਸਮ ਆਫ ਦ ਫਿਊਚਰ ਪਲਾਨਸ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਸੌਰੀ ਮੈਮ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਸੌਰੀ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਮਾਈ ਫਾਲਟ ਦੈਟ ਆਈ ਕਟ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਗ੍ਰੇਟ ਐਕਸਪੀਰੀਅੰਸ 33 ਇਅਰਸ ਔਨ ਬੋਰਡ ਆਫ ਟਰਸਟੀਸ ਐਂਡ ਵੈਨ ਅ ਪਰਸਨ ਇਜ਼ ਔਨ a board for 33 years that person has a lot of experience that person has plans that person has seen so much when you became a trustee i was a kid at that time if i will look at my age so as i am at this age level have experience running my own business so those years you spent in the field of education in the field of administration in the field of board of trustee you have seen so much and when i joined fresno city college it was not that big and we did not have that many students how many students we have and what are your future plans maina nu sawal puchya hai ga bhai jis time mai fresno city college janda si inne students nahi si ge inna vadda nahi si ga inne program nahi si ge te jehda banda 33 saal ek position te reya hoya ohne bahut kuch dekhya hunda bahut tajurbe kar ho janda oh banda te ohdi pwekh diyan plans vi hundiyan ne te inna mai puch reya ki tuhadi apni plans ki ne students vaste sadi community vaste miss smith we have over 20,000 plus students at Fresno City College alone and uh I guess I have having been a long time educator long time board member I've seen education evolve just like everything else in life and when I hear people say well, let's put community colleges back the way they used to be I said if we put community colleges back like they used to be we would not be as far as we are today and 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 you see when you go to community college the diversity it wasn't the diversity there like it is today so why do we want to go back what we need to do is continue to go forward we need to continue to go the next step so what i i i, I believe that as you mentioned through the years as an educator and also as a board member it's and that should let people know that i am interested in continuing to be a board member that it is important to me because people have asked me through the years daddy why don't you do this why don't you run for that and that makes me feel good too to think that people know that i do have expertise but i'm an educator even though i've been on the board state center community college board all these years prior to that when i was in college i was elected to a uh elementary school board which i served on for 8 years and i was still in college and during that time i was one of the youngest people in the state of california to be elected to a school board so from that you will know that i am a educator from my heart and i do believe when you talk about our, our educational systems community colleges are the link to the future because like ellis island because like ellis island 
we say, come all of you, everyone. We welcome you all. Now, what we're doing in the community college now is trying to balance that seesaw, the access versus the success. And what we're doing, I've initiated in our area a K-12 summit partnership so that we can work with our K-12 schools to provide those um to provide the information that the K-12s need to work hand-in-hand with the instructors, the counselors, the placement test people in our community college districts so they will know how to better prepare students. So that is what we need to do. And I'm saying it's not so hard because students do want to learn. Students are learning every day. People are learning every day. We are learning every day. So why is it so hard? Why does a student have to go through the K-12 system and come out still reading at the second or third grade level. And I see these students and I'm saying, God, they're smart. Why don't they get it? So we all need to get it. And one of the reasons, uh, I may be wrong. No, I know I'm not wrong on that. Parents have to be involved. So I'm saying this because it's a radio station. You have to be involved. And not what I've seen having been uh, in elementary through 12, that parents are usually there for their smaller children. But you need to be there for your older children as well because that is where all of these influences come in. That's when the drugs, that's when all these things come in. And your babies need you, but your your older students need you as as well. And you need to be there. Let's say the students are going to college. You need to know what's what's happening in the colleges you need to tour you pay taxes these schools belong to you you need to know what kind of professors you need to know what kind of labs you need to know those things so when I talk to people about community college I emphasize community they belong to you and if you elect people and I say this I I I make every effort to speak for the people who have elected me and uh right or wrong or indifferent I want their voices to be heard. If their voices can't be heard through me, uh, why should I run? So I am an educator at heart. And as I look around, I feel that that's the place I should have been and where I am. And I do want to continue that position as a community college trustee. But what is your future plan for students? In a girl, Kitty, a kid, 12 to bar, just a mob up, which involve one a chay, then a child, then a kid, but a child. ਇੱਥੇ ਹਾਈ ਸਕੂਲ ਕਲੀਅਰ ਕਰ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਫਿਰ ਵੀ ਕਈ ਵਾਰੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਐਜੂਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਲੈਵਲ ਹੈ ਦੂਜੀ ਤੀਜੀ ਚੌਥੀ ਕਲਾਸ ਤੱਕ ਹੀ ਸੀਮਿਤ ਰਹਿ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਜਿਸ ਟਾਈਮ ਬੱਚੇ ਛੋਟੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਮਾਪੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸ਼ਾਮਲ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਪਰ ਜਿਸ ਟਾਈਮ ਬੱਚੇ ਵੱਡੇ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਮਾਪੇ ਇਹ ਸੋਚਦੇ ਨੇ ਕਿ ਜਵਾਕ ਵੱਡੇ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਹੁਣ ਸਾਡੀ ਲੋੜ ਨਹੀਂ ਇਹ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਕਿ ਮਾਪੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਜਿਸ ਟਾਈਮ ਬੱਚੇ ਕਾਲਜ ਜਾਣ ਲੱਗ ਜਾਣ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਵੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਸਿੱਖਿਆ ਬਾਰੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਟੀਚਰਸ ਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਟੀਚਰਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਐਡਮਿਨਿਸਟ੍ਰੇਟਰਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਕਾਉਂਸਲਰਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਕਰਨ ਤੇ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਵੀ ਜੇਕਰ ਕਿਸੇ ਨੂੰ ਕੋਈ ਵੀ ਸਵਾਲ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਲੋਕ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਚੁਣ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਚੁਣਿਆ ਹੈਗਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਤੇ ਪਹੁੰਚ ਕਰ ਸਕਣ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਕਰਨ ਤੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਦਰਵਾਜ਼ੇ ਖੁੱਲੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਨੇ ਮਾਈ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਵਾਸ ਵਾਟ ਆਰ ਯੂਅਰ ਫਿਊਚਰ ਪਲਾਨਸ ਮੀਨ ਐਨਹਾਂਸਿੰਗ ਦਾ ਐਜੂਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਬ੍ਰਿੰਗਿੰਗ ਨਿਊ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮਸ ਇਨ ਸਟੇਟ ਸੈਂਟਰ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਕਾਲਜ ਡਿਸਟ੍ਰਿਕਟ ਦੈਟ ਵਾਸ ਮਾਈ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਇਨ ਸ਼ੋਰਟ ਡੂ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਸਮ ਆਈਡੀਆਜ਼ ਇਨ ਯੂਅਰ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਦੈਟ ਯੂ ਵਿਲ ਬ੍ਰਿੰਗ ਨਿਊ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮਸ for students that they can learn some new skills some new type of education do you want to bring do you want to make a difference in the state center community college district because time has been changed there are new things new education system i we did not have televisions long back ago we did not have cell phones we did not have computers now those things came and state center community college district started educating students computer education computer technical education internet education kind of things do you have something in your mind new thing for our community that students can learn and go in the field when you talk about new things one of the things that uh that you said during the initial uh beginning of, well the beginning of this conversation you mentioned the fact because i i asked if i were talking too fast for the translation and you said that your listeners uh speak yes. English as well as Punjabi. One of the things that I a- have been pushing and emphasizing that we need to make sure that if a student earns a degree from us, he or she is bilingual. At least we're the only country in the world that considers you educated and you only speak one language. Going to Europe, I sat next to a person uh to England who spoke four languages. On the way back uh home I sat next to a person who was going to San Francisco. Did you understand all the four languages when you were sitting next to that person? 
<laughs> but I have, and I'm emphasizing that because what I do know, having studied Spanish and lived in Mexico so that I, for a summer, to study Spanish, and I feel, especially in, in the Southwest, everybody who lives here should at least know how to speak, be fluent in Spanish. But my point I'm trying to say in terms of a foreign language, it helps you to process better. Absolutely. It helps you to think better. And that's one of the things that I have brought that up. You could read our minutes through the years. We need to make sure that we emphasize foreign languages. And I also think that we need to emphasize the fact that, uh, well, especially foreign languages, and as you, you mentioned, too, about education is evolving, we need to be in the forefront of what's happening. It, you talk about, well, to say how long I've been on the board. Yes, but a good doctor is a good doctor. And, and you people don't say, okay, it's time to stop. They go to that person for wisdom, the young doctors for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. A good professor, you don't say stop. You go to him or her for wisdom, knowledge, and education. So it's not about how long. It's about what you've done because you know you can be there for 100,000 years if that's, and haven't done anything. But I feel like in the 31 years, 33 years I've been on the board, I have made a difference, and I, and I have been a voice. And I emphasize, and right now, one of the things that I'm also thinking about, you talked about uh, what do I have um, plans for. I, I really want to, to emphasize the importance of foreign language. I, and I'm also promoting and speaking about the, um, the BS degree in the community college for nursing, because I think nursing is a practical a thing that we all need. We need good nurses, and, uh, and some of you, and you're probably familiar with the the, uh, P, the the doctoral program at Fresno State. It was a practical doctoral. I had doing my graduate work. The one, uh, one of the people who started that uh, program at Fresno State emphasized practical, and I think you ha doing our entire conversation pretty much has been about practical. The vocations. Practical, And I think we need to look at that because when you teach people these practical things, they will learn those other things to be successful. Because if I got a job, you talk about these people got a job in Bishop, I want to keep that job. So I better learn some of these other things. I better know how to read. I better know how to compute. And, I d and another thing we need to emphasize, you need to know how to speak. You can have it up here. But if you can't translate it or write it, you may not get what you want. You can be the brightest person on earth, but you have to share those things. ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਹੈਗਾ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਕਾਲਜ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਫੋਰਨ ਲੈਂਗੁਏਜਸ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਤੇ ਇਹ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਵੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਨਰਸਿੰਗ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਬੀਐਸ ਡਿਗਰੀ ਵੀ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆਉਣਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਫਰੈਜ਼ਨੋ ਸਟੇਟ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਡਾਕਟੋਰੀਅਲ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਸੀਗਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕਿ ਬਹੁਤ ਅੱਛਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਇਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਹੀ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਬਿਸ਼ਪ ਕਾਲਜ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਦੱਸ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਕਿ ਵੋਕੇਸ਼ਨਲ ਐਜੂਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਹੈ ਉਹਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਹੀ ਅਗਰ ਕੋਈ ਬੰਦਾ ਲਿਖਣਾ ਪੜ੍ਹਨਾ ਤੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਕੰਮ ਨੂੰ ਟ੍ਰਾਂਸਲੇਟ ਕਰਨਾ ਜਾਣਦਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਆਪਣੇ ਕੰਮ ਨੂੰ ਸਮਝਣਾ ਜਾਣਦਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਬਹੁਤ ਵਧੀਆ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਅੱਗੇ ਵੱਧ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਆਪਣੀ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ now let's talk because we have uh, six more minutes for you and i know you need to be in another meeting with oliver bens for southwest district as you discussed with me so i do understand you have busy schedule now it is your time these six minutes what do you want to talk how you want to convince your listeners that they should vote for you tell us about your family so these six minutes are yours and and in 6 minutes keeping it brief concise and it is your time to appeal to the listeners why they should vote for you and 6 minutes if you will want to go 7 i will let you go but if you want to go to 8 then you need to put 8 minutes in 6 <laughs> in 6 <six laughs> miss smith first of all i'm a lifelong resident of fresno grew up in southwest fresno And uh, my grandfather, who only had a second grade ed education, emphasized education to his grandchildren. And I know the stigma and the sting of being poor. I did not have a running water or bathroom in my house until I was in ninth grade at Washington Union High School. But my mom always said, you can be poor, but you don't have to be poor class. And even though we didn't always have the money, she made sure that we had books, magazines, and encyclopedias. So education, I am an educator at heart. And also, as a girl growing up, I also worked in my community. I've always been a community advocate. I always worked there. I, I did tutorial for young people. I helped the seniors in my community. 
And I, I, I emphasize education. I work with young girls and young guys when I was in college. And one of the things I want to say in terms of being a community college trustee, I, I have said earlier, I know I'm the best person. It's not so much because I'm being arrogant, but by your works you shall be known. And I think as a, having been an educator and a trustee all of these years, I've, I've done some good works. And some of the works that I've done, I've uh, established the Anna Mae Candler Nursing Scholarship. I've uh, endowed and established the Middle Class Scholarship. And some of you may say, why Middle Class Scholarship? Because in the long run, those are the students who really have to drop out, start, and work because if you are at risk in poverty, you have these free grants, these free programs. Those students, all you need to do is come to school and be dedicated, and you have those money. But the parents, of, students of middle class parents are caught in the middle. Their parents make too much but too little to really help them finance and education. I've also been part of the establishing and endowing um, an athletic scholarship for athletes in our state center community college district. So it's not that I have just been sitting there twiddling my thumbs. I do know the essence of being a servant. And I, as you know, as our, as our society gets older, people are coming back to school. I am emphasizing the 50 plus initiative in our district for those folks who need to change jobs, do other things uh, with their lives. I also, um, have thought, as I mentioned earlier, about uh, foreign language. We need to do that. We need to emphasize the fact that we need to know more than one language. Entrepreneurship. I think our young people need to be about the business of learning how to be good producers as well as takers. And when we talk about vocational ed, yes, vocational ed is important, but not just only in the community colleges. It's important in our K-12, too. I have brothers who things that they made when they were in elementary and middle school and college, high school, that we still have in our family. So vocational ed is very, very important, and I'm going to emphasize vocational ed, and also I will continue to emphasize the importance of the practical BS degree in the community colleges for nursing. And also I want to say emphasizing the importance of the community, knowing what the community college really do. So when you hear people say uh, things like community colleges need to be back the way they used to be, oh, I think community colleges are doing well. And they have said that the people who are in the community, the people who are in the community, the people who are the community, the people who are in 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 the community, किस तरह इन्हों की माता ने यह किया भी गरीबी एक वक्री चीज़ है पर सिक्ख्या एक वक्री चीज़ है गरीब हों मतलब नहीं कि तू सिक्ख्या नहीं ग्रहण कर सकते जो भी मैगजीन वगैरह लिया के दिखा सी इन्हों पढ़न वास्ते तो इन्होंने सिक्ख्या ग्रहण की खुद एक एजुकेटर बन गए और हूँ इस खेत्र के होर अगे वह ने Vote, vote for me. I want your votes because I know I will represent you. I will, I will be your voice, and I know that I am the best choice, and I will not delude you, and I will not say things that are not uh, true. So I, 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 I do appeal to you, and I feel so fortunate to have the opportunity to come and speak to you today to let you know a little bit about who Dorothy Dottie Smith is. And so I want your support. I know that I will be a good representative for you, and I would like to know you and meet you. So at times in the future, when I am elected, re-elected, we can set up meetings and do those things that we need to do to discuss some of your, your uh, ideas and some of the things that you believe will make the community colleges better servants of the people. Yes, I'm appealing to you because I know I'm the best person for the job. And I have to appeal to them that they have to vote for them. And I have to say that they have to vote for them. And I have to say that they have to vote for How the people they can reach you? Uh, you can reach me. Please, I, I'm, uh, I'm emphasizing the fact that you go to my website, and it's www.votedotty.com. Please go to my website, and you can also uh, go to my email at tdotty at comcast.com, or you can call me at area code 559-916-0909. As a matter of fact, our host today knows how to get in touch with me. He's used those <laughs> those same things that I've, I've 
given to you. So please call me if you have a question. And if uh, if you feel that you can't, uh, you know, if you're you're speaking in Punjabi, you can talk to him and he'll get back to me. I want to answer you. I want to be your servant. And uh, I appeal to you to re-elect me as your trustee. Thank you so much, Ms. Doughty, for coming and joining us. Uh, during this our talk show and the second another email address again t dot it t d o t t i e at comcast dot com dot net dot net and the another telephone number is cell number five five nine nine one six zero nine zero nine to see an all some per car sack the okay we swap which now in all girl but car sack do is an ali is a dot is with the thank you can thank you so much miss dot for coming and joining us i wish you a good luck in your campaign thank you ਇਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਹੀ ਇਹ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਸਾਹਮਣੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਲੈ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਸ਼ਾਨ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਹ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਰਾਮਾਜ਼ ਇੰਟਰਪ੍ਰੀਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਟ੍ਰਾਂਸਲੇਸ਼ਨ ਇਨਕਮ ਟੈਕਸ ਤੇ ਕਾਉਂਸਲਿੰਗ ਸਰਵਿਸਿਜ਼ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇਸ ਦਫ਼ਤਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹਰ ਪ੍ਰਕਾਰ ਦੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਲੈਣ ਦੇ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਪਾਸਪੋਰਟ ਰਿਨਿਊ ਕਰਾਉਣਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਵੀਜ਼ਾ ਲੈਣਾ ਕਿਸੇ ਵੀ ਮੁਲਕ ਦਾ ਰੀਅਲ ਅਸਟੇਟ ਦੀਆਂ ਸੇਵਾਵਾਂ ਲੈਣੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਪੈਰਾਲੀਗਲ ਦੀਆਂ ਸੇਵਾਵਾਂ ਲੈਣੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਕਿਸੇ ਵੀ ਪ੍ਰਕਾਰ ਦੇ ਡਾਕੂਮੈਂਟ ਨੂੰ ਟ੍ਰਾਂਸਲੇਟ ਕਰਾਉਣਾ ਇੰਟਰਪ੍ਰੀਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਦੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਦੀ ਲੋੜ ਹੈ ਪ੍ਰੋਸੈਸ ਸਰਵਿੰਗ ਦੀ ਲੋੜ ਹੈ ਇਮੀਗ੍ਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਦੇ ਫਾਰਮ ਭਰਵਾਉਣੇ ਨੇ ਪਾਸਪੋਰਟ ਰਿਨਿਊ ਕਰਾਉਣਾ ਨੋਟਰੀ ਪਬਲਿਕ ਨੋਟਰੀ ਮੋਬਾਈਲ ਦੀ ਸੇਵਾਵਾਂ ਲੈਣੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਸਰੈਂਡਰ ਸਰਟੀਫਿਕੇਟ ਦੇ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਕੋਈ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਕੰਮ ਹੈਗਾ ਰੀਅਲ ਅਸਟੇਟ ਦੀ ਖਰੀਦ ਉਫ ਰੋਖਤ ਦੇ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਕ੍ਰੈਡਿਟ ਰਿਪੇਅਰ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਕ੍ਰੈਡਿਟ ਐਨਹਾਂਸਮੈਂਟ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਅਨਲਾਫੁਲ ਡਿਟੇਨਰ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਤੇ ਹੋਰ ਵੀ ਕਾਫੀ ਸੇਵਾਵਾਂ